was wondering what scheme, workable scheme, you would put in its place. Me? Or uh, well, what I would, <laughs> yeah. what, well, what you would know, you I, suggest to others who might be in a position yeah. to set it up and get it going? Well, I mean, I, I think that uh, what used to be called centuries ago wage slavery is intolerable. I mean, I don't think people ought to be forced to rent themselves in order to survive. I think that the economic institutions ought to be run democratically by their participants, by the communities in which they exist, and so on. And uh, I think basically through various kinds of free association. I'd like to see a gigantic project of dismantling and just getting rid of all the stuff that, that uh, rests on the destruction of nature that separates us from the natural world, that has people on this treadmill to constantly work and constantly consume. It's madness. It's destroying everything, and it just has to go. Here, the question of how much of our modern industrial society needs to go arises. Obviously, people should be free to choose less technological ways of living, but let's recall that science, technology, and intellect have not been devoted to stopping the destruction of nature, to enhancing workers' self-management, or to overcoming the onerous and self-destructive character of the work of society. It has always been assumed that nature and people are just there to be exploited for the benefit of elites, and it's always been assumed that there is a substantial body of wage slaves who will do it simply because otherwise they'll starve. However, if human intelligence were devoted to asking how technology can be designed to fit the needs of the human producer and of the ecosystem instead of that of the profiteers, technology would not seem so negative. And if human intelligence is turned to the question of how to make the necessary work of the society itself meaningful, the results could be surprising. For example, much of the necessary work could be consigned to machines, which means that humans can have more leisure time or can undertake creative and interesting work involving intelligence, and skill, human relations, and service to the community. The task of technicians in this system of participatory councils would be to produce plans in the same way as industries produce refrigerators or stoves. That is, to explain to the people who are affected that if you decide this, you're likely to get this or that consequence. There is, however, one impediment that we need to struggle against if we wish to avert self-destruction. That's the authoritarian and materialistic tendencies of our society. If my sense of identity is based on what I have, on my possessions, if I can say I am what I have, then the question arises, what am I if I lose what I have? Therefore, the sense of identity based on what I have is always threatened. Uh, a person is anxiously concerned or not to lose what he has because he doesn't lose just what he has. He loses his sense of self. That sense of identity which is based on to be is entirely different because that can never be taken away from me except if I'm uh, insane or uh, in some peculiar circumstances. I feel, I see, I love, I am sad. The less you are and the less you express your life, the more you have and the greater is your alienated life. Everything the economist takes from you in the way of life and humanity he restores to you in form of money and wealth. God damn it, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars. <coughs> Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. All 4,600 million years of evolution, it's packed, sealed, tagged, valued, and available off the rack no returns. Your capital is debt. It's a amassed wealth which then can be used for certain purposes. Labor is a life. Is what is superior? Things or life? Death! 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 Death!
You see, it is the will of the people. The will of your slaves and parasites. How dare you speak of justice? For 50 years, we've told them what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. For Christ's sake, Ben, don't you understand? Americans love television. They wean their kids on it. Listen, they love game shows. They love wrestling. They love sports and violence. So what do we do? We give them what they want. We cannot let the terrorists achieve the objective of frightening our nation to the point where we don't, where people don't shop. Where people don't shop. What do you find more satisfying, working or shopping? Shopping. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you? Shopping. <laughs> I see. Look at all those bags. <laughs> Definitely shopping. People don't shop. <laughs> what do you find more satisfying, working or shopping? Shopping. Of course. <laughs> shopping. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a difficult one. <laughs> Shopping. Nine years of shopping. <laughs> shopping definitely. <laughs> what sucks? Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, what's up? Uh, 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 what do you find more satisfying, working or shopping? You know shopping, of course. You know that. Um, shopping. <laughs> shopping without doubt. That's an easy question. Shopping, of course. <laughs> shopping, definitely. Absolutely, shopping. Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. 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 I have to work in order to shop. Together. Well, I work so I can shop. Uh, I like um, working so that I have the money to shop. And obviously shopping, but you gotta work so you can shop. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. But we won't. We're slowly learning that fact. That's all very well, Mr. Hammer. We haven't been paid in two weeks and we won our wages. Wages? You want to be wage slaves? Answer me that. No. No, of course not. Well, what makes wage slaves? Wages. I want you to be free. Excuse me, sir. Are you going to work because you want to or because you want to pay the bills? Just because I wanted to. Yeah. Because you want to? Yeah, at least I had to. Because you have to pay the bills? Yeah, just because I had to pay the bills. I want to pay the bills. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. To pay the bills. So I gotta pay the bills, so that means I have to go to work. I have to pay the bills. <laughs> Sorry, I'm retired. Oh, okay. what about when you were working? Did you go to work because you had to, because you had to pay the bills? I had to. Paying the bills. What do you think? Bills. 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 Oh, the bills. Always the bills. See that? I keep them dancing for that money. Yeah.